All right, guys, it's been a while since we've had a chance to do anything. Uh, this time of year makes it kind of tough. At work, we end up working over a lot, and working two jobs with it doesn't help any. But we finally found something cheap on Marketplace, and this one is a little questionable. So I found it on Marketplace next to nothing. What it is is a Troy built TB430 blower the listing said it ran ran good stopped running wouldn't run anymore after that so it <clears throat> wasn't a whole lot of detail and so my first thought was was what usually happens is fuel lines you either end up with a fuel filter bad or one of the two fuel you know busted fuel line in there somewhere or a carb that needs cleaned and this one now when i got over there to pick it up he told me it didn't have any spark so in the listing it didn't say that so i didn't know that until i got over there but so this one may end up being parts possibly it's missing the i might have one of these so i used to have a an old parts it wasn't a troy built but it was the same design the air fuel cover uh have to look through what i got and see what i what i have but this is a 2017 model it is complete minus the air filter cover and so if it's not getting spark you got a couple options it could be your switch up here on top it could be bad it's always in as you can see there it's always in the on position you just have to push it forward take the spark away from it and it shuts off so could this be a bad switch not getting connection or it could be the actual coil itself so We'll dig into it and find out. I did. I haven't tried to start it, but I did put some two-cycle in it to see if we had any fuel leaks. And see if it pumps up. Now the ball's trying to fill up. But he did say it ran good. And then uh, just quit running. Kind of stinks. So, you know how it is. Marketplace, you got to take their word for it. And we'll give her a couple tugs out of curiosity just to see what it does. Here's our choke. Alright, I guess the worst I'll do is not start, right? Too cheap, hard to pull. Right, so maybe it's not getting any fire. Alright. See what we have for a spark plug real quick like. Really. Never know, could this be a plug? Well, the fuel's making it to it. Plug don't look totally bad kind of old but it is getting fuel to it and I thought I had a new one uh, what do I do with it my hat here go it's close to the same so I'm going to throw a new plug in it just out of curiosity see what it does of course it's not going to be that easy it never is bad thing about these I'll show you I've had a lot of them that it will have spark it'll throw spark and but with some of these it's just so hard to see it with some of these two cycle motors some of them you can see it right off the bat some of them you don't see no spark at all but the, it runs perfectly fine somewhere to actually have some way to see if we can get it to arc off of something here. Yeah, I don't 
think that's going to work. Yeah. I think it did spark. It killed some light. Maybe we're just getting weak spark. Maybe he's mistaken. Or it could just be me dreaming. Get that down in there without dropping it in the freaking cylinder. Yeah. It's sparking. You guys probably can't see it, but we do have spark. So now we just got to figure out why it didn't start. Well, that's a plus. It is hard to start, or not hard to start, hard to, hard to pull. Make sure we got that on all the way and we'll try it again. that too long I had the whole house stinking so I don't know somebody can leave in the comments here see what you think <laughs> it could possibly just be the plug I mean it's whew, God, that stinks it sm actually it smells like it needs ran and ran hard but let me see I don't know if I can get you a good look at that plug or not but the plug honestly it don't look terribly bad Fuel lines look okay. I mean, there's no gas leaking. So, I don't know. So, we can take it outside and we take it out there and try to run it and see what happens. But, like I was saying, he, he, as far as he would, he knew it lost, uh, well, his best guess is it lost, lost spark, but, uh, that plug, I don't know. Looks like it's been in there a while, but I don't know. We'll take it out. That and, handle up here it's loose my best guess is there's a screw that comes up through the bottom that holds that in place no big deal but uh yeah throw it back together and well just put the tube on it we'll take it outside and see what happens all right well, i thought i had a tripod out this way but i guess not so i'm gonna see if i can get it fired up get it fired up and let it run and see what happens here Broke, right? Yeah. Well, it's definitely got some issues. Let's try choking it a little bit. I don't know if we can get half choke out of this or not. been a while since y'all seen this guy he was this little fellow on the workbench last time he was on video and he's seven 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 and a half months old 
<laughs> he's a meathead. All right, so we're going to try to do. I let it run for a little bit, so it's good and warm. Well, it's good and warm. It's freezing out here though. But see, we get the power back up. It's acting when you hit the throttle. It's acting sluggish. The adjusters are right here. So it should be one of these two. There we go. Yep, that one fits. All right. I'm going to try to do. It's just a little sluggish, so I'm going to try to do, if I can stay out of your guys' way, is see if we can adjust, try to attempt to adjust the carb a little bit. But it could also be fuel filter being, you know, crappy. I had, I never did check it, but it seems like the new plug is definitely a good start on it. So let's see if we can get her to fire up here. Hopefully. opinion is I honestly think it's uh you guys probably couldn't even see it we played the high and low so you guys probably didn't even get to see it I didn't realize the camera turned some but your high and low is right by the choke lever there so it's bogging you see them now yeah it's right by the choke lever there's two little pieces uh, two little screws, so it's a good chance that yeah, you can just barely see it. Anyway, hold it up. so it seems like it's starving for fuel. It's no matter which way you adjust it, high and low both, you may have gained a little bit, but uh, still bogging real bad. And as you can see, we tried adjusting it, and it's. It's not wanting to go to idle, but nothing like it should. But maybe it is the idle, so I don't personally think so. But let's check it out. I honestly don't think the idle has anything to do with it, but I'll bump it up just a hair. See if that makes a difference. I personally don't think it will. Now. All 
right, come on. I think I got adjusted too far out. Ugh. Let's see. So yeah, good way to do these. You can crank them all the way in, then slowly back them out. Was it like a one turn? I think back them out and hopefully they fire up. And then you can adjust them from there. This thing's obviously been through hell. Lose the coat now. Twenty some degrees out and burning up. <sighs> I'm thinking car needs to go clean it. We'll go downstairs, rip it apart, and see what we got instead of sitting out here cold fighting with it. Alright, so went ahead, swapped out the fuel filter. It's the one that was in it, but I had another new one, so we went ahead, went ahead and put a new fuel filter in it. The screen on the carb is clean, so there's no blockages there in the carb. Uh, the bottom looked good on the inside but the in here freaking brain fart but anyway the um, I can't even remember what it's called now I'm trying to, to think too quick anyway it's bad diaphragm the diaphragm is collapsed won't pop back up so it's completely you know, so there's no flex so this one's shot and, but I do have another carb. It was brand new. I cannot remember what this thing is a project we was working on and it didn't work out. But I had this new one, but it's the diaphragm and everything is the same. The carb, it actually, it's a brand new carburetor. It's actually close to being the same thing. So I might just go ahead and put it on. But the only thing that's biggest difference is probably where your throttle hooks up right there. It's probably the biggest difference, but uh, so we might just get to throw this one on just to see what happens. So I'll do that, throw it all back together, get it on there, and then we'll try to fire it up and see if it makes a difference. All right, kind of got dark on this, but it's oh, kind of got some light coming in from the street light in the alley. But uh, we'll give it a shot, okay? So now we got uh, found that random new carb down in there, it looks like it's it's on it. Uh, a new fuel filter. So let's try that. So let's get some fuel up in it. There we go. All right. Moment of truth. I think it's for whatever reason, it's really hard to pull though. Let's see. All right. So left choke is closed. Right, it's open. All right. Demo. Try 
choking it. Oh man, I hope I didn't break that fuel line off. <laughs> Should have started. We got going on. This time I am out. Uh, it's not like me to give up on them. Pitch black. Neighbors are loving me. Actually, you know, actually it ain't that late. It's only 6:30. 6:30. 20, low 20 degrees out. You gotta love it, man. All right. So the only way I I took this is the old carburetor. Changed all the gaskets, the diaphragm, put a new fuel filter on it. Actually cleaned up the old spark plug put it back in it's running good I think the only way to get me to or that I can get it to run any better than what I got it now is by buying a brand new carburetor for it which is probably about 20 bucks so that's it just don't give up on them save yourself some money tinker with them peace out